I, I think that, first of all, the position that Bosman Sari occupies is a position that must make, you know, evoke, it's a position that is humbling and that must evoke sobriety in utterances, in public utterances. You see, I say so because I heard him reciting a certain response to what has been said. And the recitation projected him like somebody was talking to Ghanaians as, as if we are students in a lecture hall. And I thought that that was not the way to go. You copy from the best practices. We know how Afarijan used to talk. David Adenzikanga, we know how he used to talk. Safo Kantanka, even when they were pressured and they were pushed and they were provoked, that position that you occupy is supposed to make you, is to so, so humble you to the point that it makes you sober and yet assertive in your utterances. I didn't see that demonstration. So when I was listening to you, I said, well, is he copying from the typical Ghanaian uh, who, when they are elected or they benefit from any political appointment, they begin to talk down on people? I was, I was um, disturbed with the posturing and the, the, the sort of tone of language he used in his responses. Number two, we are academics. Academics, this is what we do um, to, to be able to earn our salary. If you are, if, if you are giving an essay, you, look, you do a balance sheet assessment of that essay. What you do is to look at what the strength of that essay, and then you look at the, the challenges of that essay, and based on that, you make um, a conclusion. And so um, the future of electoral reforms in Ghana would remain bleak if the Electoral Commission mounts a platform to only shower praises on itself and to pretend as if nothing went wrong in the just ended election. I, I was sad because as academic, we are supposed to look at things from both angles. And so if you concede that, look, this went wrong, that went wrong, this went wrong, but these are not enough to undermine the integrity of the election, then you are talking objectively. But to be a stomach direction anal analyst, oh, you, have oh. to, uh, you can't use that. You can't use. You no, can't no, use that no, no. But but, well, but uh, yeah, but I mean, but I'm you're not part of this conversation. Here. That's actually what it was. That, no, that, that, that's I will not. Well, I will not. Well, what I mean by I that, agree with you, Prof. To, to well, withdraw that. What, what, that, what is that better stomach than direction? Analysis. We can't use that. <laughs> that's better than salary. There's analysis. a lot of salary <laughs> online. <laughs> No, no, but you see, when yeah. growing up, when we, yeah, when we used to play football, there were people who were, we said they, they stomach direction. Yeah, yeah, stom I mean, they that means play they play the football yeah, just one side. No, no, yeah, one side. Uh, one. So what I meant by that was that I think. So you can say the, the one sided. The, the one response. Side. No, don't tell me what to say. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> don't teach me English. Yeah. But I don't like <laughs> the stomach direction. Well, it's not. It's not about what you like. It's about what I want to say. I'm sure yeah. our viewers don't like it. Well, too. well, no. uh, well. But they will say it uh, themselves in the in the text message. Oh, yeah, so, so, so the point is well. this. The point is this. I, I thought that um, things went wrong, and things went right. There were so many things that I liked about the 2020 elections. For instance, the fact that you got there and the BVDs worked it to, it to perfection. And the you, short queues. And the short queues, you spent little time in the queues and you voted. I thought it was something that we could not gloss over. Okay, but post-elections, we saw some challenges. Okay, and then also the bit that, you see, two incidents that have not been properly interrogated. Number one, you remember Kwesa White said that he had raised the NDC had found some challenges with the elections, and then he told the chairperson of the election. And then he told all of us on TV that we watch that um, he was told to go and call um, his flag bearer and other people to a meeting mm -hmm. so that those things would be addressed. And then the moment he, uh, he left, um, the election results got um, re, um, declared. You see, nobody has, the only person who controverted this was a judge who said, you were sent there um, for a mission, so you should not have listened to anybody who asked you to go. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, nobody has controverted that. Now, if that happened and that is not interrogated, then the impression, okay, is created that something really went wrong. Number two, um, I'm thinking that the, the praises and all the good things that um, my um, colleague Bosma Sari, you know, showered could have been effective defense against whatever the NDC was saying 
if they had mounted a witness box, you could have said these things to, to counter whatever they're saying so that you create... If the Electoral Commission had mounted a witness yes. box, okay. Yes, so, yeah, so that you create, you don't create doubt. But once you actively ensure that or refuse to mount the ballot box, uh, the witness box, then it creates impression in the minds of people that everything that um, the other side is saying is also, you know, true. Because if it is, it is, I mean, I'm just looking at myself that if I were the chairperson of the Electoral Commission and have all these facts, all these things that Bosman Asari, you know, um, articulated, I would have, even if my lawyer had said, no, don't mount the witness, but I'll tell him that, no, I have something to say. So I would have um, just mounted the box to also explain, just to be able to set the record straight. But they didn't do this. And so these two things creates certain doubts in the minds of some Ghanaians and some stakeholders in a manner that make those uh, places those stakeholders aggressively on the defensive. And the little thing that they see, then they'll be raising eyebrows. And I'm thinking that if these things are not checked, then they will deprive the Electoral Commission of the institutional piece that it needs to be able to carry out its mandate. Okay, so basically these are... Um, mm. My thoughts about so you what, think what that in terms of um, in, in terms of posturing, the electoral commission should do some more work on itself. Well, I I think I think that you see without the major, the opposition, I have a problem with the opposition. Okay, they suffer they suffer from what I refer to as opposition disease. Once you are in opposition, everything that the electoral the only the suspicion yeah the only the only appointment that the opposition is not is not condemning is Dan Paris' appointment. I don't know how Dan Pari has done, but the opposition is against everything. Well, they did not condemn Ahmadou Tanko's elevation to the Supreme Court. They did not condemn Ahmad, They didn't. Well, okay, no, well, I mean... Uh, oh, well, you can tell uh, me uh, that. Uh, we, we, we have, they did not condemn Ahmadou Tanko's elevation. We, we have not dissented on any uh, Supreme, Supreme Court judge. Yes, well, I mean, so, but the point I'm trying to make is that, I mean, you see, I, 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 I think that that problem that the opposition is also perpetuating in our body politic must be checked. That every everything that the electoral commission does must be treated with suspicion. I mean, it's not good as we try to build and strengthen institutions. But the other bit is that the electoral commission itself must also be able to build that relational competence to be able to cement these kinds of things that have been there since 1992, so that. Um, you don't rather inflame passions. But if you look at sometimes the combative posturing and responses of the electoral commission, it's rather deepening the cracks and polarization. And, and I'm saying that at the end of the day, if we all don't speak to this to ensure that the stakeholders work together, it is Paul, you and I who Maybe the Peace the Council should take this up and invite both parties for this.